I guess I might as well show you both ways what I was talking about. I got my quarter inch drill bit and I'm holding that exactly where it needs to go. Now see I can take my whole drill and put it in there and kind of get a happy medium. Now I'm holding it straight and I'm right in the center of that and push in there and just get a little mark there. Okay, like that. Now, see I know exactly where that one's going to go. I'm going to mark this one differently. And hold it exactly where I need it again. And I've got to look in there and see the back side hope that I'm holding this all straight in the middle. Okay. Wow, that's going to be kind of tricky in itself. I'm having a hard time seeing the holes. I think that's pretty good right there. And I can just set it a little bit. Now I can move that and see where the hole is. And see when I first started it, there's two holes there. I want to make sure I got the right one, don't I? Because at this point, it's, it's kind of critical of that. It's very critical. Hold that. I can use my my quarter inch and because I'm close what you could do is pre-drill that you know obviously I have to mark the top one I could pre-drill this with an eighth inch drill bit first then ream it out with a quarter inch and I think I'm gonna do that because if I hit a knot or something this could this could wiggle on me too and I might not be able to get it straight in there and it might have a tendency to suck it over one way or another okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna mark the top hole and show you what I do next Now here's something I should have, I should check too, and I'm going to right now, is before I drill these holes out, I'm going to hold that up there, close the screen, and I'm going to hold this top piece up there, okay, because it sets on top of there, and ultimately it's going to split the difference to left to right. And now I can check the reveal here as well as over to the far left. And I want to make sure that it's going pretty close to even. That looks pretty good. If anything, it looks just slightly off like this, like this vertical support could be tapped down a little bit, which would mean I would have to mortise in the wood down there or kind of tap it with a hammer or something. The reveal is pretty close though. Okay, I got uh, 5 sixteenths. And actually, I got 5 sixteenths right there. Okay. So I, I'm, actually, I'm actually good. So I don't have to do anything. Now, if you had to raise this up or down, now's the time to do it. Mark it, then you can measure out for where these holes are, lift this up, lower it, whatever, okay? Check that out so you get the, get your right reveal. And, and uh, put this in the right direction. See the holes, the holes are towards the top or the bottom. Which way does it go? Well, these go to the outside. So that the theory is when you put the screw in, Hopefully it doesn't hit this edge, okay? And I'm hoping it doesn't. If it does, we may have to drill out the little edge of that. And I guess that's another something we might have to look at, um, just in case it hits that. You know what I mean? 
I hope it doesn't. Okay, looks good. I'm okay with that. Okay, now, now I can pre-drill those holes in there. Okay, I've done all my pre-drilling, eighth inch holes, then quarter inch through that. Tightened it up, loosened it with the with the uh, the vice grips and all of that. Okay. I'm just gonna set this where it needs to go. Just hand tighten those. Just get them started. You know, like that. Man, I'm still having the sniffles. I'm right where I need to be on the mark, and that's right where the hole is. Thank you very much. Right there. And I can use my handy dandy little tool and tighten those screws just like before. You learning anything yet? I hope you. Before I do the middle one, I probably should make sure to line up the top one. In fact, the top one basically is going to go where it's going to go, right? But ideally, there could be just a smidge of adjustment you can do before getting this tight all the way. I'm going to get this snug. And if I have to adjust a little bit, I can whack this with, with a piece of plywood or, you know, put a block of wood up there and hit it with the hammer, adjust it to the right or the left. Get up here, hold it on my line at the top. That's looking nice. See, that went in nice because I took my, my drill bit and I reamed it out again, and then I ran it almost all the way in there before I put this on, like I showed you before, right? And I tested it, and then I got it, I took it back out with my handy dandy vice grips. And that's what you're gonna have to do. So I can pull this back, see where I need to go, and then let off on that. Snug as a bug in a rug. Now here's the next thing. Um, I don't know if the flap is going to close without getting those screws. And but I, yet I didn't want to get too big of a gap there and have the latch not fit into the pocket all the way fully. Okay, so I close that, and by golly. They're on the outside plenty. They're not going to hit this edge at all. That's a good thing. Because I've seen some where the head might be a little bit bigger, the hole might be over a little bit further, this flap might be a little bit further out, and then all of a sudden it doesn't fit nice and snug because it's hitting the bolt, you know, the edge. And that's the other thing. If you get a washer and a lag bolt, let's say, because you don't want to mess with these, your washer could be too far, your head might be a little bit bigger, and then you may have to ream this out with the reamer bit, you, you know, make a little moon-shaped deal on here to fit. That's the one thing with that way. And sometimes I've seen even these, these one-way screws, because it's a kind of a contoured flat head, let's say, it's smaller to the left. So even if, it's, even if it hits, it's not going to hit the full part out and maybe it only hits just a hair and you can still get your latch to close before you even have to think about reading that out. So that's a possibility too. Okay, wow, so far so good. I'm liking it. 
what's our next step? That's right. We're doing the top. And I think you know how to do this now. I don't think I'm going to show you this. I'm going to put it up there. I'm going to line it up and make sure I've got it. You know, if it needs to stick out a 16th here and a 16th to the left, I can. In this case, it's almost flush. I'm feeling it with my fingers. And I know that's exactly where I want it. So I'm going to make some pilot holes and do my drill thing again and get her up there. Here's a tip for you. I'm trying to get this out and try as I might. I can't get it on any of these. It's sucked in there so tight. So here's here's what I wanted to show you. you take a take a pair of channel locks this is uh, not channel locks crescent wrench you can also call it a spanner spanner wrench and see there's a little hole right there I can take that and use that kind of like a like a wedge you know there you go I got it out of there that's how you do that yeah you're using it as a lever so to speak Set that in there and turn it. Yeah, that's a ticket. Glad I got that crescent 